Hey guys, um, this week we're coming to you from Granada, Spain, and let me tell you, this video has it all. We have an Airbnb tour, we have a grocery haul, we have churches, we have an art museum, we have a couple of bloopers in there, you know we have cervezas, and we have uh, some restaurants, so let's go check out some of the highlights of our time in Granada. Hey, we just got to Granada and wanted to show you our Airbnb. So this is the doorway, little cleaning closet area. And then here is our bedroom. Pr nothing fancy, it looks pretty nice. And then we have a little teeny tiny hallway and there is our bathroom with one of the smallest bathtubs I've ever seen. It's like a little kitty bathtub, but Rest assured, I will try to get my big butt in there and enjoy it. And if we go down the hall a little ways, we walk into the living room and it's pretty spacious. We have all the essentials, couch, TV, a desk area, dining table, and we have a kitchen with a washing machine, microwave, stove we do not have an oven and we have a full-size fridge so that pretty much wraps up the tour and hopefully we will like our stay here I'd share a grocery haul with you guys we have some apples some chicken stuff to make burritos lunch meat of course my monsters and you know, we can't afford to go out to eat every single day. At least that's what Garrett tells me. Anyway, all of these wonderful items cost approximately 17 uh, U.S. dollars to get all of that. So that'll last us for a few days. They're opening the door, Garrett. We better start walking. No, we never skip a cathedral or a church. So here we are at the Granada Cathedral or the Cathedral of the Incarnation, which is a Roman Catholic church. The church was actually built on top of the city's main mosque after the reconquest of the city of Granada. Queen Isabella commissioned the church's construction back in 1526. In fact, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella I are buried here in the church. Another interesting fact is the cathedral is built on a rectangular base and it consists of five different naves. All of the naves are staggered in height and the main chapel consists of Corinthian columns. We paid five euros each to visit and tour, and you can visit Monday through Saturday from 10 to 6.15 p.m. and Sunday from 3 p.m. to 6.15. As always, you should go online and double check that those times and the prices are still correct. And it's definitely not a place you want to miss visiting. We enjoyed our time here. We've walked down to the drainage uh, ditch river, thinking it was a river, but I think it, we think it's a drainage ditch. And even though I don't speak Spanish, I know that says don't swim in the water. This is all work, I believe, by Jose. 
And here's a cool view of the cathedral from that window. Here are more works by contemporary artist Jose Guerrero. Hey guys, we're here at Bar Co. After a long day at the Alhambra, we are having some cervezas, and along with the cervezas, we are having uh, peri peri chicken, and Garrett's having a pork and pineapple skewer. They look delicious, so hopefully they are, and you get one free tapa with every beer, so we'll be trying a lot of stuff tonight. Peri peri food. And I had either peri peri vegetables or curry vegetables. I forgot what I ordered. I'm going to try those. Mm, it's curry. This isn't the peri peri. Is it any good? It is. It's um, white bean heavy, I would say. It's uh, baby beans, carrots, and maybe some like. Uh, green beans, but I like it. It's spicy though. I like my tongue is on fire, but I like them. Basilica of San Juan de Dios is a Baroque temple, and let me just say this place brings the bling. This main altarpiece really stands out. It's quite imposing and it opens up into an arc where there's a dressing room where the remains of San Juan de Dios rest. Now it's important to note that this main altarpiece was made by Jose Francisco Guerrero and the sculptures that it houses are carved by Sanchez Sarabia and the dome was very impressive, as are all of the frescoes. We really enjoyed visiting the Basilica. I also really liked the skulls that were on display, and I'll show you those in just a minute. But you can visit the Basilica Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. We paid four euros each to visit. You may want to check the website, as I've mentioned before, to make sure the prices and times are still relevant, but here's a skull and there's more skulls. It's quite um, interesting, but definitely worth a visit. Here we are heading into the monastery of San Geronimo. The San Geronimo Monastery, also known as the Royal Monastery of St. Jerome, is a Roman Catholic monastery in Granada, Spain. And it was the first monastery to be built after the conquest of the city of Granada by Christians. Construction began back in 1496 and architecturally the church is in a renaissance style and the church is famous for its architecture and it was the first in the world consecrated for 
or two, the Immaculate Conception of Mary. One of the main attractions is this scarcity, which has more than a thousand carvings and is one of the best examples of Spanish Baroque. We paid four euros each to visit and it's well worth your time to stop in whenever you're in the city of Granada. having cervezas in a plaza in Granada, Spain. We just finished having cerveza and tapas with two other couples that I had met through Go With Less and they were going to a flamenco show. We um, staying for more are staying for more cervezas and wanted to give you all a view of the patio area. The tapas we did have was very good and I think we're having a good night out. The weather so is so good. The weather is awesome and nice. more nights like this and happy to retirement us. Yeehaw. I hope you guys liked this week's video. Um, in a couple of days I'm going to release another video which critiques our Airbnb here in Granada. Um, hopefully you'll like that type of content. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all of the things, and check out our blog at slowtravelchronicles.com. Have a great week!